Hi, this is Mo Volans, and I'm taking a look at the excellent X-Filter EQ from Alicia. Now, I'm looking at various different scenarios where we can integrate the EQ into your door, but in this specific video, I'm gonna show you how we can use it for problem solving and remove unwanted frequencies by using some subtractive EQ techniques. So here we are in Logic, and I've got an entire mix loaded up, but I've isolated the drum track. Now, the drum track here, and let's just play this back, has been processed already and it's been bounced down as an entire drum track. So I'm gonna disengage everything here on the Alicia and I'm gonna zero it out. So that that you're hearing there is really the dry drum track. And I've got the Alicia engaged through the Logic I.O. plugin as before, so the audio is coming out of Logic and then back in through the Alicia hardware. And if we disengage it, you can hear that the sounds are very similar, but we do get a slight bit bump in warmth and uh, goodness when we engage the uh, Alicia X filter here. But I'm gonna show you how to use some subtractive um, EQ to maybe tame some of the elements. So you saw some of the features engaged as we started the video that I've been using. But I'm gonna go ahead and just take away some frequency from say 100 Hertz. And you can hear we can tame the kick drum by doing this. See if I take away a lot, you'll hear it an extreme example. Let's disengage. So we can easily tame our kick drum doing this, but let's say we wanted to tame something in the low mid area using these two controls. Um, we can do the same thing. But although this is not a shelving filter, this is a bell filter here, we wanna maybe focus in uh, with a little bit more of a surgical precision, we can use the low mid narrow cue point. This will allow us to home in on specific frequencies in either additive or subtractive. And we can maybe take away some of that booiness from the low end. And boxiness. So we've got a nice smooth sound there. You can hear me disengaging and engaging that. We can also do that from the plug-in here. So there's our original sound with a slight boxy low mid. And there's the Alicia removing that dirt. And we can do the same with the high mid. We've got a narrow cue point in the high mids so we could tame the snare. And let's disengage here on the hardware. So there's our boxy snare and boxy low mid. And there's it tamed. And of course we could add some low end. We can use the other bands for additive. And we could put our passive massage in as well if we wanted to add some extra air. Before and after. So you can see this is a very different type of treatment. Uh, but these narrow cue points allow you to home in on specific frequencies and instruments within a mix or an entire bus, and they can be extremely useful. Next up, I'm gonna show you some other subtractive treatments that the X-Filter's capable of that allow us to produce creative effects.